We've always been really enamored with the idea of energy efficiency, building a home that is meant to stand the test of time, perform really well, and also be in harmony with the environment. I got to go on this adventure with my wife where we kind of took the two of our expertise. She's a phenomenal planner, amazing at ideas for architectural design and layouts. And on top of that, you know, she's pretty good with science too. So I was able to take my side of it, which is more the engineering, and the two combined just became for us, the perfect house. Kim and Chris are an anomaly. Their whole house is totally unique. I was constantly catching up with a lot of the technology that he wanted to build with, like simply the heating system in the floor. So we acted more as a confirmation consultant. Because we designed and built the house ourselves, we had to use a lot of different tools, and one of those was doing 3D modeling, from an idea to a 3D model to mm -hmm. physically what's here in front of us. I've never seen it before. They purchased the product that encapsulated the whole slab, so it sat in a bed, and it was in insulated on all sides. The heating system is a forced hot air PVC pipe in the slab and it radiates heat into the slab itself. We don't have a basement because the bedrock is super shallow here and so it would have been very cost exorbitant to do all that drilling. It's that interplay between the landscape, the environment, the way we live and that whole sustainability piece. The renewables that they have is the PV on the roof, which basically is generating electricity. No fossil fuels at all in the homes. Yes. Everything is done off electricity. Very little windows on the north side, east and west. They focus their square foot of glass on the south side. Their large overhangs prevent that summer sun from coming in. So the summer sun will only come in a couple of feet, whereas the winter sun comes all the way to the opposite wall of this house. The windows in this home are really nice European tilt and turn windows. And so these were all custom ordered and custom dimensioned to suit the home. These windows are UPVC windows. And what was really nice about them is that they were pretty cost effective considering how well they perform. Air sealing is important. It's also important to have ventilation in a home. And in our case, we ended up going with a ventilator for the home. And this is an entropy recovery ventilator or an ERV. And what this does is it exchanges both heat and moisture when it circulates the air within the home with the outside air. And this is why an ERV is so important you're so airtight that you need that mechanical ventilation to maintain air quality. This house here, standing alone, scored a HERS rating of 35. Once we put up the solar panels on the roof, they came out to minus 45. NHC has really helped us with our uh, initial uh, planning and designing of the home. They were passionate about the energy efficiency. They were passionate about what was happening in the house for the long term. When you're dealing with people with passion, it's easy to help guide them along. Something that started like a crazy dream turned into this thing that we get to enjoy. So I really think that energy efficient homes are the homes of the future and we're really excited to be part of it. I found that this experience would be so great that it makes me want to work together with my wife in the future for building homes for others. Kind of combined our powers to promote a better society for in terms of energy efficient homes. We absolutely love yes. our home. Yeah. yeah we really yeah. love it. Yeah.